Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be filming an infill. So as you can see with this client, I have two soak off clips that I've applied on the index and the ring finger just because the client wanted like a clear tip design. So I decided to soak these nails off and start fresh with a um, clear tip. But anyway, as for the rest of the nails, I am basically just going to reshape all of the nails and then I'm going to trim off the nails a little bit just because she wanted them slightly shorter. And I'm doing that using um, my four times coarse drill bit from Glitter Planet. And that's the same drill bit that I used to shave the previous design back to this clear base. Now I'm just going in with my tornado file and I'm just going to reshape all of the nails. So I'm basically just focusing on the sidewalls of the nail. So doing a 45 degree angle on the sidewalls and a 90 degree angle on the tip. So I just like to do this um, before starting off any infill just because I feel like it makes application so much more easier and smoother. But anyway, after this, I will be pushing back the cuticles using my Glitter Planet cuticle pusher. And then after that, I will be removing all the shine from the natural nails. So once the uh, growth is exposed on all of the nails, I will then use my 180 sanding band on a very, very low speed. So a number three on my Scion K35. And I'm just going to focus on that new growth, removing any shine or lifting that is there. So once I've pushed back the cuticles, I basically just went in with this Amazon bit that I got. And it's just like a Russian manicure type of bit that I purchased from Amazon. And what it does is that it removes any dead skin on that nail plate and it makes that cuticle area nice and flush. And after I've done that, I basically just use my cuticle nippers. And these nippers are incredible. I got these from Glitter Planet, part of the Nail Mate collection. And they are very, very sharp. You barely need any like type of pressure or anything literally it will chop off anything that you want and i don't always do this i only do it when i see a lot of dead skin or dry skin around the cuticle but i just feel like this step makes everything look nice and flush So once I've finished prepping all of the nails, I go back to the, the nails that are soaking. And as you can see, they are completely melted and it was very, very easy for me to just remove all that acrylic. So I highly recommend if you want to remove some nails, just work on the ones that are already there. And then after you finish prepping them, go back to the ones that are soaking and that will just let them, you know, soak off for a little bit longer and make it melt and, and just make it easier for you to work on. So as you can see, I basically just used um, my cuticle pusher and I um, just removed all of that product off. I didn't use any pressure. It was basically um, all dissolved. So I just wanted something to just scrape that product off. And then after that, basically I'm using my 180 sanding band and I'm removing all of the shine from all of the nails.
So once the nails are nicely prepped, I basically just spray with my CJP prep spray and then after that I'll be applying my tips. So I'm applying my um, Tracy Lou stiletto tips and they're the clear stiletto tips and I'm just going to apply that on the ring finger and the index making sure that the sidewalls of the tip um, fit exactly to the sidewalls of the nail and I'm using KDS glue to do this. Once I've applied the tips, I will basically just trim using my stork scissors and then I will use my straight edge nail clippers to trim the sides further just because we wanted them to look a little bit more on the coffin shape. And then after that, I will use my CJP Tornado File, redefine those sidewalls and the tip, and then they're ready for acrylic application. So this part is optional, but I just like to do it, you know, just in case. So now I'm applying my CJP dehydrator and I'm only applying dehydrator because I'm using my CJP one, the one monomer. So with that um, monomer, you really don't need any um, primer. So that's the only reason that I like to use dehydrator. But then the prep spray is a dehydrator, but I just like to be on the safe side. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, now I'm just applying my acrylic and I'm doing an infill on the nails that already have a tip and acrylic on. And then on the rest of the nails, I'm just going to basically do what I normally do on a full set. So for these um, nails, I'm using my uh, Mia Secret Pink Acrylic and my The One Monomer, as I already mentioned. And the brush that I'm using is my gorgeous, gorgeous Queenie brush from CJP. So yeah, I'll just let you guys watch because um, it's just a standard infill. Um, one thing I do want to mention is because you're very, very close to that cuticle area, make sure that you wipe any product that lands on that cuticle just because if you let it there and it dries, it will cause lifting and it's almost impossible to just remove it using your hand file or your e-file. So you just want to make sure that once the acrylic is still wet and not dried fully, you want to go in there with the tip of your brush and wipe any product. So for the clear tips, I basically just use my clear acrylic and I'm using um, crystal glass from CJP. The only reason why I don't use my Mia Secret Pink is just that when I use um, or when I do clear nails, I like them to be extra clear. Now with the Mia Secret Pink, it's quite clear. Um, it's almost very translucent, but it has that pink hint to it. Um, and like I said, I've got OCT. So when I come to do a... Um, clear nail I just like to go ahead and use clear acrylic
So now I am reshaping all of the nails using my CJP Tornado file and I'm again just doing a 45 degree angle on the sides of the nail and a 90 degree angle at the free edge and I'm just doing this just to make filing easier for me and um, I think that it makes the nails look a lot more crisp when you do this so make sure you always go back in with your hand file to reshape all of the nails. Okay, so a quick disclaimer. This is a brand new drill bit. Um, and if you've been doing nails for a while, you know that new drill bits are sharp as anything. So I don't know if it was a good idea that I don't, but I don't know. I was using it on a slow um, speed, but I still had a little accident. It wasn't massive. It wasn't big. It was just something that, you know, the drill bit was really really sharp and it kind of caught a little bit of the skin and yeah so that's why i always tell you guys when you use drill bits that are the this sharp always make sure you use it on a low speed i was very excited to use this drill bit because um i think i, I was like okay so it's it's kind of like my smooth top fine drill bit and my carbide all in one so i just wanted to give it a shot i mean don't get me wrong it is a very very good drill bit it's just that it was very very sharp and um my my client was unfortunate to be the first one that i used this on and yeah i cut her on her thumb so sorry about this Gemma but you know she um she forgave me she was laughing about it she was like I, I barely even felt it but you just want to make sure you be very very careful careful and when you're doing this you want to make sure that you focus mainly on the cuticle area making it nice and flush making sure there's no gaps and then after that I basically just um reshape all of the nails again focusing on the tip so basically, I just flipped her hands towards her view, and I'm just making sure that everything is nice and straight. So now I am buffing all of the nails using my CJP 180 buffer, just making sure that you get a smooth surface on all of the nails, and that will just make your um, gel polish application so much more smoother, and you won't be able to see the scratches underneath that polish. Anyway, I am just using my palette that I got from eBay and I'm just applying all the colors that I'll be using and so I will be leaving the colors that I'm using listed down below. They are all from Similac that I've been obsessing over so it's the Similac gel polish brand and I'm just picking up that really nice um, yellow color and I'm just dotting it um, using my dotting tool um, in random places on the um, ring finger and the index. So now I'm using my very fine detailer brush that I got from Amazon and it's just by this gorgeous brand that it's called, okay, BQ, BQAN, I think. So it's Bacan. I will leave it listed down below. I highly, highly recommend their brushes because they're very, very detailed. They're very um, easy to work with as well and they come in three different sizes. Um, but anyway, I am just using that brush to create the petals of the flowers and I'm using my I'm, and I'm using my all-time favorite white So my all-time favorite white gel polish and again, it's from Similac gel polish And I am just creating the petals using that white and that detailer brush
So I've done all the flowers on both um, the clear nails and now I'm just going in with my white polish from Similac and look how gorgeous that white is. Like this is the first coat you guys and just look how beautiful that color is. Um, I am just very impressed because it's very, very affordable. I wouldn't say like it's very cheap, but it's quite affordable for a gel polish um, brand. So I do highly recommend it. And it's not working streaky as well because I find with a lot of white gel polishes, they work quite streaky and you, you find yourself applying so many coats that it makes the nail bulky. But anyway, I cured for 60 seconds. I know I said before you can do 30 seconds, but I just like to be on the safe side because I don't like it when they bubble. And if you've been doing nails for a while, you know what I mean when I say they bubble. But anyway, I am going in with my second coat now and I'm going to cure for 60 seconds afterwards. And then once I've done that, I will be applying my top coat and I'm using my Premier Gel top coat and I will cure for 30 seconds and then come back to add some pigment. And the pigment that I'm using is from Amazon and it's just, I think it's called like a um, Mermaid Aurora um, pigment. So it's like a chrome. So you add that once you cured your top coat for about 30 seconds and you have that tacky layer and then you can just rub it using your finger or a silicone tool. So once I've applied that gorgeous pigment, I will dust using my um, nail brush and then now I'm just going to apply top coat again and I want to mention something very important when you apply your final coat of top coat or even anytime like when you apply top coat or nail polish, just wipe the sides of um, the nail to make sure that that top coat don't that top coat don't disturb your shape i forgot to do it here and that's why i am filing the nails to get that back into you know that be beautiful shape that i wanted but anyway after that i just apply my cuticle oil and i'm using strawberry daiquiri from nav stuff and that's basically it you guys so this is the final look and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give me a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i shall see you in my next video